Hi everybody. Um, what day are we on today? Gosh, I can't, I can't even remember letting me look in my diary. We're on April the 4th, Friday, April the 4th. I forgot, we don't even know what day it is as we're going along. I just wanted to show you, I do this on a night when I'm, I've finished and I want my book to stay. I just put one of the, um, these are one of the bands that go around to help to hold it into your dialogue. So um, I just pop that round on the edge and that means that it's not just popping forward all the time okay so yesterday was this is yesterday so here we go this is uh today's so i'm just going to turn it round again a little bit like uh so and oh where's it? there it is there's my little tag and um the important topic of the day today is why is my tea bag tin almost empty? Goodness me, I thought the fairies just came and filled this up. But obviously they don't. And look, I'm down to my last, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five. That's not going to last. That's only going to last me tonight. So I'm going to talk really hard. I'm going to ask Emmy. Emmy usually knows what goes on. She usually sorts out all the things. So I'm going to have to ring her and ask her why my tea bag thing is empty and what I have to do okay so that's the most important thing out of the way there okay and what did I forget to do yesterday I didn't give a shout out to a store a valiant store out there um getting your products out so let's do uh, let's do two today shall we so I've done let's see Canada let's do one in Canada so uh, the fabulous Clipper Street, um, I should really write this down, the proper um, instructions, shouldn't have the proper details of this, but oh, just let me move that. The fabulous Clipper Street in, I think the Vancouver, they are doing uh, online and they're doing curbside as well. So give them a buzz. And because I missed one yesterday, let's also do paper parachute the wonderful paper parachute in portland oregon um and they have got a brand new website actually their website went live i oh my gosh a week 10 days ago maybe a week ago and they both of those stores stock a lot of dilutions um so um either of those support your local stores really support your local stores you know the big boys will get through this but your small independent stores they're the ones that are going to struggle because they're not getting people in you know a lot of stores don't have massive websites or anything so try and support your local stores okay ben is still doing his 14 hour days oh my gosh if you follow on his page, The Art From The Heart, and you saw the sacks that were going out yesterday, and he noticed a marked increase in the dialogue pro pro uh, products. I wonder why, fancy that, huh? So anyway, here we go. So today, it's Friday, the, is it Friday? <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Oh my gosh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's Saturday. <laughs> Oh dear me, it's Saturday the 4th of April. It's all going to my head. I've spent the day tipping out my dressing room. Um, in the dressing room, one side of it, it's a small bedroom for those of you in the UK. One side of it is uh, fabric, just all fabric, um, all folded and really neatly and on display. And the other side is just skirts and tops all hanging so I've, and shoes. So, and bags so that's what I've been doing I've been sorting out so I'm a little bit later coming down to do this so what I'm going to do is Edith my youngest granddaughter she was one on the 28th of March and I couldn't get to see her um but her present that I'd ordered for her was was out of stock it was so I had to wait for it to come back into stock and it's just been uh, delivered to her today and it's a water i'm not sure if you can how clearly you can see that on there but it's a water and sand pit they've just got water in it at the moment so katie sent me a little video and she sent me this lovely picture there's and i've, I've got those so those are what i'm going to use today there's martha with the little edith but i love this picture of edith so i'm going to use a photograph 
today and what I've got is these are from the sprocket and I'm going to attempt to show you how to do it but it doesn't always work when I want it to so this is a sprocket okay so let's just turn that on there's a sprocket and it has in there some um, oh I can't get this much nearer let me undo, undo it for a minute this is my American phone because this sprocket goes to my American phone so I'm just going to show you hopefully how we do it so let's find a picture to allow let's find a picture that I, oops that I might want to print out so you can see there they're the pictures of Edith in there what else might I want to um, print out you see it just brings up all your photographs oh look there's one of me with the beard shall we bring the one with the beard out let's have that one okay so it comes up on here now you can edit your photo oh this might not work down here because this is my American phone there might not be enough let's see there might not be enough signal to do it but um oh there we go there it is it's come out so you can see and then all you do is you just press print And if we listen for this to come on, sometimes it just takes a while. Let's have a look. View. Oh. Oh, it's printing out a cat one from earlier. I don't want that one to go. Oh, well, there you go. Can you hear it? So this is uh, one of Boo from earlier that should pop out. Can you see it coming out the end? It's like magic. I do this on a plane a lot if I'm wanting. So this one was Boo. So this was obviously in the queue from before. There we go. And it's sticky back so I can peel the back off. So mine with the beard should start coming out now as well. Oh, isn't that lovely? I took that last night when um, I was sewing on the couch and he was sat next to me. So I'll use that for another day. I'll have a pet day. So here we go. So because I have two phones, I have a sprocket for each phone. This is my American sprocket, the black one, which goes with my American phone. And then I have um, a red one which goes with my English phone. I also have a Sprocket Plus. These are two by three inches and a Sprocket Plus is slightly bigger. It's, I think it's, mm, I don't know if it's two and a half by three and a half or two and a quarter by three and a quarter. I can't really remember. I'll just turn that off. Uh, so there you go. There's my picture. But for some reason, my Sprocket, I'm just plugging these back in because um, with the charge, but for some reason, my Sprocket Plus didn't want to um, Bluetooth today. I just want to show you, actually, you can as well if you want to. Let's go back to, let's go back to this one of Edith. I don't normally put effects on because I usually do it by doodling. But you can come up here and you can edit your photo. Oh, it's downloading them. Da, 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 da. So we can put... It's going to take too long down here, but frames come up. Can you see, look, I can put flowers on the bottom there. I can have Easter bunnies. Um, I could put something like, I could have the hearts going all round. I love the sprocket. I can put frames on like so. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be a really cool one to put um, in here so and then you either keep it or you don't so anyway that's what a sprocket is and people ask me all the time because i do use these a ton um okay so these are the two that i want to use that's <laughs> so funny okay i want to use the one with martha and i want to use this and i'm on a page and it's got red on there but what i wanted to do was because it was her birthday i wanted to put a little crown on it so i'm going to stamp out a crown to put on the top and I think I want to put a little wing on her as well I'm not sure that's my idea but whether that 
Whether I decide to do that, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to pop them there and I've got a little bit of scrap. This is, I always stamp onto um, the same paper. Okay, so that's there. But what I wanted to do, because I want to separate this one from this page, this is going to be tomorrow. So I thought I'd put some paper down. You could have all sorts of paper. That You could have some washi tape, anything like that. But I'm going to use Dina's, oops, my chair's going backwards, Dina's Collective. Uh, so I'm going to find something in here that I want to tear. And I just want to put down this side. Uh, let's have a look what. What I like. Oh, oh, I quite like. Hmm, quite like that. So I might tear. Let's have a look. Put some of. I quite like that. There. Yes, I think I'm going to glue some of that down. Thank you, Dina. That was lovely. Um, she, this is her volume uh, two. She had one that, out before that was really thick, and this comes in. This now comes. In, this is the collective two, sorry, and it comes in volume one and volume two. So that was volume two there. So um, I think I'm going to cut a bit off the back actually. The only time I really use a trimmer is if I'm wanting it to fit in something. There we go. I like that. And I'll save this. I'll save that for another day. Okay. And then it's going to be about that at the top. So I'm going to use a glue stick. I would quite like that as well, which do I prefer? <gasps> this is the thing now. It's going to be Edith there. Oh, I'm not sure. No, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the one that I thought of at first. And people say, I don't like using it because I'm covering up. Just buy two. Just buy two additions and then you get... You can use the both sides then, can't you? So I saw Martha this morning. I had some stuff to drop out off at the house. Martha's going to be doing a big diary. Um, so I piled it all into a bag and I went to drop it off on the doorstep and I was trying to be really sneaky and sneak in so Martha didn't see me because I was worried would she, you know, would she want to come out for a hug and that. Uh, and then the door opened and they were like, uh, Grandma! <laughs> and so she was just waving at me. So that was lovely to see her. So I just stood, you know, two metres back and we waved and she took her bag and she was ever so excited. I put a little bit of chocolate in and um, a blanket I'd knitted for a doll and some of the little Marks and Spencer plants. So I put some of those in. So I saw her. And then I had a big bag of groceries sorted for Jay. Um, and she said that Betsy was a little bit stir crazy. So they came round to my house, but they didn't come in. I left it on the doorstep. I left a couple of bags on the doorstep and I left some little um, Disney, some little Disney characters just sat on the doorstep. And then I peeked out the window. <laughs> And I watched because Betsy doesn't understand that she can't see me. If she saw me, she would have got upset. So I watched her come down the path and she posted, actually, she posted off some packs of, um, had some postcards to send to somebody in Holland and to somebody in America. Thank you for buying those. And the needed taking up to the post box. So Betsy came and collected those. So that was lovely. I didn't get to see Edith and I didn't get to see Otis, but I do see them online. So I hope you're getting to see your beloved ones as well so i'm going to stamp um isn't that wing i'm going to stamp a wing oops sorry about that noise there i'm going to stamp a wing i always try to get the most out of my page that i can oh i just thought i haven't put my little ring light on 
Sorry about that. Hang on. You see, I'm so bad. There we go. Okay. Is that better? I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'm doing what I've been told. So this is one of the wings from... Oh, this is Sunday Best. Let me just pop that there. That is one of the wings from Sunday Best. I do have a wing on... Um, oh, I can't think what the other one's called. Oh, it'll come to me. And also there's some wings in the collage sheets if you wanted something. And then this one, this is such a useful set. This is called Starstruck. And I'm going to use the crown from Starstruck. Okay. Here we go. I'm loving seeing all the things that you do. Um, that you're posting in, you have to post them in the Dilusions Dialogue and Creative Diary page. Don't post them in the other pages and you don't have to write what you've done with those. And somebody said today they saw the sticker that I'd got yesterday and they really liked it and they didn't have a sticker. So they they drew one and they said, oh, I know this, we're not supposed to do this. And you're not really supposed to do it because it is like a copyright. But do you know what? We're in strange times. I'm just going to turn a blind eye throughout this day by day. After that, I'm not going to turn a blind eye. But for now, I'm going to turn a blind eye. So don't worry too much because you can't get out and get things, can you? So I'm going to cut out the crown. Every girl needs a spare crown. I have quite a few in my dressing room. I love calling it a dressing room because in England we don't have dressing rooms. In England we have wardrobes. Um, in America you have closets and dressing rooms. So um, I have, it's the spare, it's the little bedroom. And I have um, my shoes, all my flu fogs are on display. It's like a little museum. I like things on display there. Everything, everywhere else in my house is behind cupboard doors, but um, they're all on display up there. And there's a couple of tiaras and crowns in my dressing room. So, um, but I've made just this last few weeks, I have turned one half into material so I've just been having to move things around really putting on my material I have a lot of um, Tim Holtz I have a lot of Tula Pink I love a lot of Gertie um, I love their hair material as well I have a massive range of Alexander Henry one of my favorite designers there um, quite a bit of Mick Miller some Anna Marie Horner and they've all been in boxes around the house and I decided that I wanted to display them nicely. So they're all displayed beautifully. I'll maybe put a photo up sometime. Okay, so Edith, what do we think? Oh, oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like that. So let's place her on the page. So she can go there. And then I think this needs to be on something, actually. Let me... Yeah, I think it need, I think rather than just put it straight on, I think I want to I want to add it on to something. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I am going to peel off the back that's the beauty of these they are sticky back Let me go here and I'm just going to place it I'm just going to stick it onto here and then I'm going to doodle around it and then I'm going to cut that out so I've got the doodled shape on there Now, I usually do it once and then I usually go back again so that you get that double. Ooh. I hope you're all surviving and doing good.
good things. I think we're all, in England anyway, I think we're all coming out of our um, two weeks self-isolation and now we're just going into general isolation. Um, and that's good because it means that we don't actually have the virus, which is marvellous, isn't it? So now we have to stay in isolation so that we don't pass that virus on. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people still don't understand that, but um, that's what it is. Stay safe at home. So in England, we can um, we can go out for if it's essential. For example, if you're going to work, but not if you can work if you can work from home, then you have to stay in. But if you can't work from home, you're allowed out. You know, for example, the key workers, etc. Um, you're allowed out to get medicines or food but they, they like it to be just one person at a time. But if you're a single parent and you've got to take, then that's different. Um, so that's why Jay popped around here. She came around here. I don't like her going into shops because obviously she's not well and I don't want anything going back to Otis. Um, so her husband tends to do the shopping, but I had a lot of... I get a delivery and... Um, so there was a lot there so she was allowed to come and get that but no one necessarily travel so i'm not sure what else and if you're in a shop you have to be two meters apart so there we go that's better i prefer that yeah and then because this is water i think i want something to show that it's water so i think let me see if i can Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's use... Let's use the, the raindrops. Okay, and I will use this pen. And I'm just going to... Let's take that clip out for now. I'm just going to doodle... Whoops. Through the raindrops just so we've got that water effect and sometimes I'll have stuck the pictures on first and then done this and this is with the large actually I can't remember if this one is raindrops or teardrops that's bad isn't it I can't remember which one it is so, um, and then I'm just going to put like a little, if you put like a little um, highlight, it actually, once you colour them, it makes them look a little bit more 3D. So I'll put those in and I shall, I'll colour them later. Okay, and then I think I'll stick these down so this is going to come down here yeah i think i'll bring it down here then i can write across the middle there so the first thing i'll put that clip back in the first thing that is going to get glued are the wings because they are underneath the picture of Edith. So where did the glue stick go? Oh, here we go. So I'm going to take the wings out. And put that. I don't want it to go over onto the next page, so let's put that down there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to peel the back off the photo. Oops. Oh, goodness me. Come on, Diane. There we go. How do I do on this? Let me just... 
here. And if you've used the grid book, you can always use the lines to line everything up with. And then I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put a bit of double-sided tape on this because with it being on the photo, it might um, not stick as well. So I'm just going to put a bit of double-sided tape on there. I usually use glue stick, but if I think it's just not going to stick very well. Oh, goodness me. And then I'll put a little bit of glue stick on the top. Oh, lovely Edith. Oops, hang on. There we go. There we are. She was so excited to be out in the garden and playing in that. And then we'll have this down here. Again, because it's tape, uh, because it's double thickness, I will just add a bit of tape as well as the glue stick. Okay. And if you put a little bit of glue stick over the double-sided tape, it means that if you stick it in the wrong place or upside down, you can peel it off. So I'm going to place that on there. Oops, I just dropped my little scalpel. There we go. <coughs> okay. And then I'm going to take this page and I'm going to press everything down. You can use your brayer. Just make sure everything's down firmly, but I never do it on the actual page that I'm working on. Okay, so just clip this back down again for a minute. And glued. Okay, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to outline everything so I'm going to come round the photo to outline her crown <coughs> oh excuse me I'm so sorry it's very dry I'll have to have a mouthful of tea in a moment just a minute and then I will come round the frame that I've made. And I'm also going to draw round the photograph. Okay, and then I'll come round her crown there okay so what shall I do now um am I going to color it in first am I going to write Edith's present I think I might write Edith up here let me pencil just to make sure it fits in Edith I might have to write it in not my usual writing, okay, so that will fit in. Let's do this. There we go. And I usually go over it once or twice. Just give it that whimsical look. And then... Um, I think I'm just going to write birthday splash here. So let's have a look. B I R birthday splash. Yeah, that will fit in fabulously. Just 
You see, you don't actually have to write everything. You don't have to write the ins and outs. I can just put birthday splash in that photo and I will know that's what I got her for her birthday and um, that it was delivered that day. And I think I'm going to write down here, I think I'm going to write sisters. Because I just had a little gap there that was perfect yeah that looks good okay so I'm going to take a white pen and I am going to just oops just doodle on this black I'm not sure what will have happened what kind of page you will have come across yet but um, you see like tomorrow this is going to look odd but I'll show you how we can alter it and we can bring that in um, and again I think I'm just going to just put some doodling in just to knock that black back a bit we go okay and then I'm going to uh, you know I drew these um, oh what's the word for them raindrops earlier so I'm going to take a blue because water is usually depicted by blue isn't it and I'm just going to colour in oops come on get some Squeeze it, give it a squeeze. Oh, it's nearly empty. Hopefully it will do. If not, I'll just swap colours. Let me just give it another. There we go. There we go. So we're just going to have the teardrops in the background and actually that little blue looks lovely with this bit of blue here it wasn't meant but it's come really nicely with that okay so that's the blue there and where the, uh, the bubble was I'm just going to put a little bit of white just as a little bit of a highlight you can't see it on many of them, but there you go. And then am I going to colour this in? Let me think. Hmm. I might do. I'm going to leave it. Colour, I'm going to colour the crown in. Definitely colour the crown in. Her crown can be gold. Your sunshine, here we go, and then I'll decide. See, I never know what I'm going to do till I do it, I never have in my head. I just I just play and decide whether I'm adding something on. Or not. What colour is this? This is a raspberry. It's a pink flamingo. I don't know why I've suddenly started calling it raspberry. I don't have a colour that's raspberry. Yeah, I like that. And I think, do you know what? I think I'm going to do the wing as well. So sometimes I don't really know until I start colouring and then I decide again you can colour with whatever you want but just see how easy it is using Tim's brushes Oh, 
other colour shall I use in there? Maybe I'll add a bit of pink. Bright pink. Where is this bubble gum? <coughs> hmm. Yeah, it's very similar, but I'll go with it. Because I don't want the wing to overshadow, so I don't want really bright colours, really glaring colours in there. So because these two are quite similar, that would be great. See how much fun you can have with one foot, you know, with a photo. I was never a scrapbooker. Um, I brought up my kids on their own and in those days you had to have your photos processed. I couldn't even afford a film, never mind to have them processed. So scrapbooking passed me by really um, because I don't have a ton of photos um, and I didn't understand it at all but I love doing things like this and I love doing um, what I call mini mini ones so i'm gonna get a deeper red let's have a post box red and i'm gonna do this bit down here so i would say that i'm like a, a little mini booker actually what are we here we could you say we're historians we're making history. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. I love the fact that we are making history. I think it's fabulous. And of course, Edith is too young to remember, so she might find this nice to look back on. I actually feel that this red is better, so I'm actually going to go over this with the red. I think because the sand pit, the water pit is red, I want it to stand out that little bit more. So I'm just going over the top of the pink flamingo, which is not a problem to do. There we go, I think that's better. This gives it that little bit of punch. Yeah, and then I think I'm going to colour in the letters. Anything where there's a line or there's say inside. Just going to colour that in to make it stand out more. Edith up here. And sisters down here. There's not a lot I can colour in on sisters. And then I think I'm going to do this frame in that bubblegum pink. If I can find it again. Yeah. nearly finished you know just doing a little bit a day doing a page a day you've seen how little time it takes you're not overwhelmed it's not going to overface you if you have a lot more time you could wait till the end of the week and you could work backwards and you could do all the whole week like I do in my diary but in here because I like to play just half an hour an hour each day at the most I mean, you could have just stuck these down simply. You don't even have to have done all this decorating that I've done here. There we go. Done. Oh, I haven't written April the 4th. So, mind you, do we need to know it's the 4th? Where could I put the 
fourth. I might have to write it on um, here, but I would probably have to write using a Sharpie because otherwise it won't dry. So I'm just going to put fourth. There we go. We don't need to write the 4th of April or anything like that. I really didn't need to write it was the 4th as well because um, it's going, you know, it's obvious, isn't it, really? If the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, this is going to be the 4th. So there you go, using photos. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow.